Hi, I'm Lin Wang, graduate student in Electrical and Computer Department in University of Florida. Here is a presentation of my email processing and computer vision project. The name of my project is Digital Watermarking. Here is the outline for today's presentation. It mainly includes four parts, which are background proposed algorithm for this project and result analysis for the implementation and finally is the concluding part. First of all, let's come into the background part. There are many different, cl different classifications for watermark. Here are at least four of them. First one is visible and invisible watermark. Based on human visual perceptibility, people can perceive the visible watermark with their eyes. However, they cannot perceive the invisible watermark from the digital content. Nowadays, researchers uh, focus mainly on invisible watermark. The second one is blind and non blind watermark. non blind watermark need a written wat watermark when detect the watermark from the result image. However, blind watermark does not need them. The next one is robust, fragile, and semi-fragile watermark. This classification is based on the robustness level of the watermark technique. And the last classification is spatial and transform domain watermarking. Spatial domain uh, watermarking algorithm means that the watermark directly into the spatial domain. However, the transform domain watermarking operates in, in transform domains such as frequency domain. Now, let's talk about some key characteristics of watermarking technique. They are imperceptibility, robustness, and capacity. For imperceptibility, digital watermark should be invisible to human eyes. This can help to protect the digital data from deleting and modifying by attacks. For robustness, it is an important characteristic of watermarking. With good robustness, even though with human processing techniques of distortion, the watermark cannot be removed and destroyed. For capacity, this shows how much watermark data can be inserted into the original, original data without affecting the imperceptibility and robustness. Here is a compromise between them. Now let's come into the next phase of my presentation, proposed algorithm of my project. There are three phases for digital watermarking technique here. There are image transformation, watermarking insertion, and watermark detection. For the image transformation, PCT is applied to the image. The image should first be divided into 8 by 8 sub-blocks and then apply block DCT instead of um, transforming the image as a whole. This can reduce the compute capacity as well. The watermark should be converted into binary image so that it is easy to embed. And next, uh, to insert the watermark into the image, some coefficient needs to be modified with watermarking rules. Which part of the BCT coefficient should I select to modify? My researchers show that there are many different ways to select the coefficient. Here in this project, I chose the mid-frequency band coefficient in the transform domain of the original image to insert was a watermark. The reason is that uh, high frequency coefficients are easily eliminated by um, any filtering processing and low frequency coefficients might suffer from the imperceptibility issues. For the watermark detection, the original image is not re required. The reason is that the watermark data is always embedded into the same set of coefficients. We can apply um, 2D IDCT to the 8 by 8 sub blocks and then we can recover the watermark. Here are two performance evaluation methods. They are peak signal to noise ratio and normalized coefficients. PSNR is one of the important parameters in performance evaluation of the system. PSNR is used to measure the distortion of embedding process. NZ is used to examine the similarity between recovered watermark and original watermark. Okay, this is all for the algorithm part. Now let's come into the state of results and analysis of my program. 
The last image is a standard grayscale LANA image. I use it as a host document. And the red image is a 64 by 64 UFL ECU logo image created by myself. I use it as a watermark to insert into the LANA image. The system implement also um, provides some image processing techniques at the attack to the to test the robustness of the watermark LANA image. Here are six options. We can extract the image um, without attack, and or we can choose uh, five other options to give some attack to the watermarked image. There are um, white noise, sort and paper noise. JPEG compression, rotate 15 degree, and Gaussian filter. In the following slides, there are results of each option respectively. First of all, here is a result of only extracting the watermark without attack. First, um, are the original image, original watermark, watermark image, and the second one is um, the watermarked image without attacks the recovered watermark and the uh, original watermark. You can see the algorithm has a good imperceptibility with the robustness of high level. Here we add um, white noise to the watermarked image. From the recovered image, Obviously, the logo image is uh, perceptibly good, and we can get the watermark information clearly. With pretty high value of NC, we can tell the algorithm has a good robustness against the Gaussian white noise. Next, we um, can add sort and paper noise to the watermarked image. From the recovered uh, Watermark, we can get the watermark information, so there are some correct doubts here. And, and the high NC value claims that the algorithm has relatively good robustness to sort and paper noise. Next, I apply the JPEG compression to the watermarked image. We can roughly get the information from the recovered logo watermark. There are many corrupted black dots at the um, capital letter E, which is uh, hardly recognized. And the NC value here shows that the algorithm has relatively limited robustness to JPEG compression. Here I uh, applied the 15 degree rotation to the watermarked image. From the result, we cannot read the recovered watermark and the low NC value uh, indicates this algorithm is not robust against the geometric distortion such as rotation. And, fin and finally, I applied the Gaussian filter to the watermarked image. We can see that this is the best result of all. The recovered image can be clearly recognized. Okay, this is all for the test results of my program. According to the experimental results above, the algorithm and watermark system is very effective and robust to some extent. From the watermark image and recovered image with the proof of PSNR and NC value, the DCT-based algorithm and the system implementation reached the goal of uh, trade-off between the imperceptibility and robustness. Finally, let's come into the conclusion part. In this project, it performs image DCT transformation, watermark insertion, and watermark detection, and also applied image processing technique to the watermark image to test the robustness of this watermark algorithm. The output contains watermark image, watermark image with distortion, and recovered watermark and the PSNR value and NC value are used for evaluation. For future work, I can try some other transformation algorithm instead of using DCT, or I can choose some other coefficient position to modify. During this process, I may find better algorithm for digital watermarking.
Okay, this is all for today's presentation of my project, Digital Watermarking. In the next piece of video, I'll give a demonstration of my program. Thank you for your time.